Hello out there, all of you awesome and amazing people on YouTube. My name is Scooter Malloy, and I'm going to give you my quick and honest review of the Terminator XL backpack from Everly Stock. This thing is huge. I cannot describe in words how big this thing actually is. It's probably comparable to like the battleship, even bigger. I think this thing will hold up to 100 liters, according to the website. I believe also that this specific pack was made originally for the New Zealand Army or some kind of New Zealand military. And this is the only color that it comes in. But some differences between this specific Terminator XL and say a regular Everly Stock Terminator is that a normal Terminator would have another pouch right here. Like see this exterior pouch down here? It would have one more pouch over here and then it would also be a little bit narrower and a little bit shorter. That would be the regular Terminator. So the Terminator XL, definitely a little bit wider, a little bit longer. It's got the pouch down here, but it's missing the one that's here. Also, they went ahead and stitched the side pockets so there's no zipper. But what's nice is that the cord does a pass-through. So if you want to cinch down your middle section or you want to put something here between the strap to like the bottom strap or whatever, you want to secure something outside, you've got that option. But in terms of height, oh my God, this thing is huge. Like I measured it earlier from the bottom, right? On up to the top, you're looking at somewhere around 35, 36 inches and there's still room to go. I think you could still get probably another six to eight inches out of the top section uh, because there's still room in the straps. There's also still room in this pouch right here to go even higher. And then in terms of width, Right now, these side pockets are empty. So if I put something in there, you'd have that little extra room in the side pockets. But just to give you an idea of how wide it is, like this is just ballparking again, give or take. You're probably somewhere around 19, 20 inches in width. And then in terms of the depth, right, from where uh, the back of the back strap is for your shoulder straps or whatever to the front of the pack, Give or take, you're somewhere in the ballpark of around 16 inches right there, 15, 16 inches. So this thing is definitely huge. <laughs> and like I said, on the website, it says it'll hold up to 100 liters. I'm gonna kind of walk everybody through what I have in here now for my upcoming backpacking trip. I'm not gonna take everything out just yet. You'll have to wait. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to see that upcoming video of me actually on the trail backpacking. And I will take everything out of here and show everybody what everything looks like. We'll do a campsite walk around, all that good stuff. But what's in here is I've got an Alps Mountaineering tent that's deep inside and closer to the back to kind of distribute the weight evenly. I've got a Big Agnes insulated Q Core Deluxe sleeping pad inflatable sleeping pad that's in there i've also got the big agnes anvil horn 15 degree sleeping bag in there it's going to get pretty chilly <laughs> up where we're camping so definitely want to be uh nice and toasty and warm for all that good stuff then i've got some clothes over here i've got like a pillow over here i've got some cooking stuff down below i've got my usual stove set up my converted propane type deal I did that before in another video when I went up to the San Gabriel Mountains. So you might have to check back or just like I said, if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe to this channel, you'll be able to see my upcoming trip where I talk about the cooking setup and the whole nine yards, how I boil water basically. Then this front pouch is a lot of tent accessory stuff. Like there's some guy lines in there. There's tent stakes. There's some cordage. There's shock cord. There's glow in the dark cord. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Then I've got one water bottle, at least my single walled water bottle right here. This is the Nalgene, as you can see right there. I've done other videos on this and I'll put one on the other side, which is currently down there on the floor. What a mess trying to get this thing packed. <laughs> but basically you get the idea. What I may put in one of these side pouches is my Helinox Savannah chair because that folds up nice with the rocking feet. That may go on the side. Also, I've got a table here. I haven't even taken it out of the box. This little foldable table, that may go inside the other side pocket. So you get the idea. So definitely there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. I've got clothes in here. I've got water filtration stuff up here. I've got the MSR dromedary bag that's going to be deep inside the back right here with the tube that'll come up around to the shoulder strap to the front right there. So definitely a lot of good stuff. Anyways, you'll have to stay tuned <laughs> for future upcoming videos of me actually 
taking what's in here out and showing everybody a walk around of the campsite. So definitely a good reason to be subscribed to the channel. Down there below, there's some links to some pretty, pretty cool products. I will try to put a link to this as well. Links to the other stuff is down there below too, the Big Agnes stuff. Testing it out, trying it out. I've got to climb it just in case that somehow I need to find room for in there as well. That may end up coming with me on another trip, but definitely going to have fun. Also, there's a link to my Facebook page. It's Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure to check out that Facebook page. Like, follow, subscribe on there if you like what you're seeing. And lastly, just as another reminder, please subscribe to the channel. The reason why you want to be subscribed is because Cooter Malloy product reviews is designated and dedicated to finding the highest quality products I can possibly find at the lowest possible prices. Basically the best bang for the buck. And honestly, if you're a larger individual and you're looking for a backpack that will hold all of your stuff, that's comfortable. I'll have to show you videos of me actually wearing this thing. Super comfortable. Once you get it adjusted to your body shape and size and height and all that good stuff, but it's comfortable, feels great. It rides on my hips more than my shoulders, which is kind of the way most backpacks are supposed to be uh, used or to make them as comfortable as possible. So that's always good news. You get some nice thick padding here too, which is really kind of nice. And then you've got your waist strap. The waist strap will fit a waist up to, I want to say close to like 56, 58 inches. I mean, don't be shy. Like if you're, like I said, if you're a larger individual and you're contemplating like, oh my God, is it going to fit? Is it not going to fit? This strap and the padded, the padded part around the hips, this will definitely go up to, I would say at least a 58 inch waist, maybe, maybe even a little bit bigger, maybe even like a 60 inch waist. So don't be afraid of that if you're a larger size individual. Tons of storage, tons of molly, tons of pockets within pockets. Like once you open this up, there's another pocket in there. On the inside, there's pockets. There's little mesh pockets and things. We're going to show you all that in future videos to come. So definitely make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Like I said, there's some links to some pretty cool stuff down in the description there down below. And also go to my Facebook page, Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure to check that out. I'm Cooter Malloy, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video.